everyone, welcome back. Well, we're here with Forged Cigar Company and La Gloria Cubana and their new cigar, the Corojo de Oro. Here it is, comes in one size, a Toro 6x50. There's your density. Has an average feel in the hand. Now the cigar gets its name from the proprietary hybrid varietal tobacco it uses, Corojo de Oro. It was created by crossing two Cuban seed tobaccos, the Corojo 9798 and the rare Palo de Oro. It's, the leaf is grown and cultivated in the Mao region located in the northwestern part of the Dominican Republic. This cigar uses a blend featuring an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and filler tobaccos consisting of Brazilian Matafina, Dominican Palato Cubano, and Nicaraguan Ometepe. Comes out of the El Credito Cigar Factory and presented in 20 count boxes, pricing set at $10.49 per cigar. So that's the long and the short of it. So let's get right to it. The new La Gloria Cubana Corojo de Oro. So here we go. This is another one of those bands where it's real close to the cap. I mean, that doesn't look like it's that close, but it is. I hope it doesn't get in my way. Now, draws good. Took off really not very much. Oh yeah, very good. sort of a cedary sweet pear with a nice uh, brown sugar sweetness to it. Um, leather, black pepper at about seven and a half. So not too bad. Has sweetness, has lower notes of leather, pretty good pepper. Not a bad start. Let's see what we have first third. First third. You still got a nice pear sweetness. There's a little nougat there. You know that nougat flavor inside of a candy bar nougat? You got pear, brown sugar, nougat, earthiness, and leather. It's a very worn, old type of a tasting leather. Finishes pear and good lingering black pepper. Medium body, but a cigar is not bad. It's 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 uh, just like I described. First, third, I'd rate ninety. Two, the earthiness is sort of holding it back, but the, the sweet notes aren't bad at all. And again, then you have got then you have the very old worn leather. So keep in mind that's what the flavor is going to get there. First third, not too bad. Let's see what we have in the second third. In the second third. All right. Still got some pear. You got some nougat, brown sugar. A lot more earthiness and light leather. So the earthiness is just really starting to get a hold on things. Medium to full. Finishes unchanged. The earthiness is definitely detracting for me. I would rate the second third 90. 
it's not bad it's just there's a lot of earthiness there just kind of squashing some of those sweeter notes and it's not squashing them to death but it's just there and it's in the way smoke this cigar as slow as you can i've already got an hour out of two-thirds of it and if you go too fast you're going to lose everything so you're going to have to go very slow with this cigar and you're going to get a decent burn time doing it that way but you're also going to get the best flavors so let's see what we have in the final third Well, we're down to the end. So let's wrap it up. Didn't change much. I think the earthiness increased just a little bit and it sort of got out of my realm in the final third. Medium to full body. Finishes unchanged. It got a little below what I would like it to, to be as far as my minimum of of, of really wanting to have again at this point so i'll rate it 89. this is not a very bad cigar it just has a little earthiness and it's not quite where i'd want it to be <clears throat> but overall it is not bad your overall score is 90.33 so it's above my line and i could have it again wouldn't necessarily want to buy it again but i could have it again so i hand me one i'd smoke it I got an hour and 24 minutes out of it at this point, and if you go that slow, you'll get these notes. So that'll do it. The La Gloria Cubana Corojo de Oro, 90.33.